Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Dark Souls. We got a little green behind me. Flicker, flicker, flicker. Face being a little weird. It's, uh, it's just the lighting needs to be improved a bit. You know what? Hold on. Let's take this opportunity. You guys can watch the magic happen, so check it. I'm gonna go camera, and I go to properties, and then it offers. It goes, hey, would you like to use a chroma key? So watch the sudden change. So now I have green. Alright, so now my face is okay, and there's less green. Hold on. Let's, let's try a different color. Alright, it's worse. Let's try my hand. Oh, now I'm invisible! <laughs> uh, I like that. Alright, so that color is okay. We're gonna do this color. And I'm gonna lower the chrome this a bit so my face isn't all goopy. And I'm gonna increase the blend. There we go. Oh, look, it's you, it goops up my face again. I think that should be fine. We're just gonna leave it at that for the moment. This seems to be the best that I can get it. But anyway, let's jump back in and uh, keep playing, because... Uh, Holy crap, we beat the big dude, and we're gonna now take an opportunity to just chill and, like, level up and shit. Like, leveling up as you get to these higher levels is so different, because it's like, I have three levels up right now. Which, before, this used to be, like, ten levels, but this is just three. But that's cool. Um, let's, uh, let's do it all to endurance, I think. Yeah, all to endurance. That increases up my de my defense. That increases up the amount of times I can attack with a weapon. Thus increasing my DPS. Divine ahead. Gorgeous view ahead. Alright. Oh, hey. Oh, is she moving? Hold. Whoa! Wow, you're really big. Also, your boobs are large, but you know, <laughs> you're uh, is everybody from this planet giant? Because all those beds look normal sized, and I'm sh and you know you're you're the kind of the looker that I'd expect would enjoy, perhaps would, at least receive lots of attention for your assets. You have a pretty face. You got a nice hair, beautiful hips, quite apparent breasts. Oh, I kneel. Why am I kneeling? Of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Oh. Since the day Father is formed in Obscurus, I have awaited thee cool. and bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. I don't know what that is. <gasps> Bonfire war big! Ah! Succeed Lord Gwyn and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. Wow. Oh, chosen of I'm coming back. Thou hast Are you just gonna repeat again? Enter covenant. Since the day father is once blah 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 blah. A grave and indeed we had fed without fire. Alright. Now thou shalt go forth. Chosen so, may thou be one with the sunlight. I would join them, but I don't think I get to have that cool. I don't have enough faith to really use their covenant well, unfortunately. I think I would. I should fit, stick with the dragon covenant for now. Warp. Oh! Oh, this is. So we can only warp to a few, though. Interesting. So Anerlando, Daughter of Chaos, Stone Dragon, The Depths, or The Undead Parish. Well, let's go to The Undead Parish just to, like, see our old stomping grounds. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, it's the, uh, it's this dude. Cool. Now where am I gonna go? Well, uh, you need. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. I want you to modify the painting guardian sword. Boop. Yeah.
Nice. Go get yourself. I want to be able to get it up to a uh, uh, pretty powerful coolness. Hold on. What if I was to use this now? Warp. Uh, if I warp to the sunlight altar, it's chamber of the princess. Do I? Am I able to warp to specific locations? All right, so this is Chamber of the Princess. All right. But she called herself the Queen. So where is... Oh, they do change. Interesting. They do, in fact, change. All right. Um, take me to... Let's see. If I go to the Firelink Shrine, I don't know where that is. I'm trying to think of... Um, I want to go and buy some of these. Um, what's this say? Try jumping. I don't want to try jumping. <laughs> I want to take the elevator. So, you can kill this woman, and it turns Anna Orlando into this dark Anna Orlando. And, uh, you're, you're apparently you're supposed to do it. Like, that's... Or people recommend you do it. And you end up getting in this big old fight. And, uh, I was gonna go to the giant blacksmith and buy some stuff, but you know what? Screw that. Let's let's go to somewhere new. Let's do something that I've never done. I uh gonna go to Firelink Shrine. Yeah, we've been to Firelink, but there's a couple things I want to do. One, the rubbish. Apparently, you can trade with the crow to uh get a Titanite chunk. So, oh hey, dude. Well, fancy meeting you here. Dude, your sword. Much from the up above. I am grateful. Glad to help. You know, I was thinking sure. the game, the old fortress. Yeah? Was that your doing? It was. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you Dude, sincerely. look at that little slit for his eyes. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Nice! So the dude in blue is out of here now. Hey, spellcaster. Oh, hello. Terri and pr you don't really give a shit about me and my magic, do you? What about you, big guy? Oh, hello. You be Why? Tell me about it. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Why, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. Apparently, I, mean, I found um, some woman that I haven't even seen. Pyromancy is the art of casting, produce, play, and channel. Blah blah blah. I understand one day. Hmm. But I can purchase some new shit. Iron flesh, all that. Goodbye then. Goodbye. Hey, big old talking. Wait, can I go down here now that I have the Lord vessel? Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I am not ready. Go away. Other stuff I want to do first involving this area that I've never explored. Whee! Oh, come on, guys. I was destroying you earlier. Let's see if I can take these guys... Skeletons out with single strikes now of this lightning spear. Nah, it still takes two. Oh well. Whee! Let's go to the scary place! I've never gone in here, but now I think I'm probably super leveled up for it, so at least I can feel safe emotionally. It's really dark. Oh! 
Whoa! 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 Okay. Oh, God. Alright, so I read a little bit about this, and they said that there are, um, necromancers down here who, uh, if you don't kill, the skeletons will keep reanimating unless you have a divine weapon. Huh. This can't really be- Oh, God! This can't really be how this whole place is. I know that there's a, a lantern you can pick up. Where? Where am I going and what is going on? What is this? Holy crap! Holy crap! Blood loss! Getting out! Getting out! Oh, I swear I thought I got killed there. Drink! Drink, drink, drink! Alrighty then! This is not the place for me without a divine weapon. Okay! Back up we go! Holy crap! That's a cliff. Alright. Well, dudes, um... Maybe not that way yet. Holy shit! I absolutely need something of the divine style to be able to survive that. God. Like, those guys aren't hard to kill, but it's just like... Here, let's go hang out with the crow if we can. I think that would be pretty cool. Hmm. God damn. Hey, crow. See, how do I get up to his nest again? Can I go this way or do I have to climb around the uh, thing outside? I have to do the thing outside. Herm. Hey, you're still here. Uh, me? Uh, I become separated? Near and where could you, my lady? Poor guy. Oh well. Carry on. Man. Alright. God. Alright. Gotta trade some rubbish with the crow. A crow bro, he's my bro, and he's a crow. Hello! Gotta get there to the crow. Getting up to my friend, the crow. Bro, bro. Curl up like a wall. Maybe I just drop it here? Here, let's just try dropping it. See what happens. I want to do it again, though. Whee! You can do anything? Anything? Come on, look, I'm an egg! Alright, well, let's try the rubbish. Uh, the rop. I don't know if that's how you do it. I gotta research that just to make sure. Because I don't want to lose my Titanite chunk. 
by just me not understanding some basics. God, can you imagine falling down that giant hole thing? Alright, so the time is up. Um, I don't know what to do now. I, uh, I guess I need to get a divine weapon. And before I go down there. So that I can kind of get some breathing room. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to do this. We got that sword too, the painted one. I think that'll work great. Uh, sunlight. What is the sunlight altar? Hold on. So, I thought this would be where the princess was. Was the sunlight altar. Oh, this is the sunlight altar. Huh. This is kind of nice, because, um... Now that I can teleport here, you can actually get some... Uh, humanity pretty easily near right near here um, it's uh, it's under this you get the humanity down there with the poison rats huh well I guess this is kind of mind-boggling all right so chamber of the princess daughter of chaos we know what that is stone dragon Let's, uh, let's go back to him and give him some uh, dragon scales. I think that would be nice. And uh, I'm making this one go a little longer because it's just like... This is a bit of an exploratory experience right now. Great stone dragon! Offer scale! So every time I offer a scale, um, my fire attack gets stronger until eventually they actually give you um a uh, hold on let's just keep offering scales and then but because i heard that in the undead berg that's where you can actually fight people for uh, scales pretty typically and uh i haven't really cared to upgrade any of my dragon weapons but to become more of a dragon bro i had five scales wow it's a lot I had six? Wow, that's also a lot. I had six dragon scales. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can get a fight. Um, at the Undead Parish. Where's this one again? Oh yeah, that's right. This is right where um, uh, the Divine Dude is. Which is perfect, because Divine Dude... Divine dude. Divine dude. Well, uh, you need it. Let's see. Um, modify. Divine sword. Okay, so it loses a lot of uh, power, but also gains a bunch of magic. Ooh, but it's gonna suck balls. But I need a weapon that I can, you know, use this with. So it's going to do 76 plus 94. So that's 160, 170 damage. It used to be doing 190. Ugh. I don't know. We need, we need something to do this with. We need a divine weapon. Plus. Twinkling tight. Night, nice. Go get yourself killed. Alright, now we have a divine weapon so that we can at least take out the skeletons. And, um... Uh, actually, let's go back to Ant... Ooh, yeah, let's go back to Ant Orlando for this fight. I wonder what just Ant Orlando takes us to. Where do I get the, the catacombs? Where do I get that, I wonder? Hey, I did it! Mm. So you have received a revelation. I did. Very auspicious. I hope for the best. Thank you. I pray that through you, her wish will be granted. Me too. That's it. Have you heard of Seath the Scale? I have. Legend? He turned against the ancient dragons. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, 
and was allowed to pursue his research. At the Regal Archives, he immersed himself in research on scales of immortality. The one thing that he did not have. But his very research drove him mad. The Archives became a dungeon. A place for sinister experiments. Interesting. Now, nobody dares even approach the Duke's Forbidden Archives. Hmm. It looms over this <gasps> land. I can go in there now! But I should warn against even an approach. Why? Well, dudes, I think uh, that'll do, and I'm going to continue and check out what's going on in these archives. But if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. You want to see more, subscribe. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your beat. Wind always beats back. Sunshine warmly in 66 face. Dudes, you're super awesome. See you later. Bye. Ah, I did it wrong. That's cool. I still love you.